Hey guys, this is Chris here again with another Critters Movie Memorabilia Collection update. And I have several items here to show off. And one of them is going to take a few minutes because it is a book. And I want to go through and show you the different pages of the book and everything. But uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about here is I ordered this thing on, on eBay. And I was a little confused by it. It was from a foreign country. And I think they were just, they didn't understand what like the language transition was or whatever. But they had this listed as a VHS jacket. Um... So I was like, assuming that it was just a like the sleeve of a VHS tape, and the the image of it was different than what a VHS tape was that I had. So I was wanting to get it. It was really cheap, so it was just a few dollars. So I wanted to get it. And I was going to take a um, an old VHS tape out or whatever, and insert this one in instead, and just put it up on my shelf. But when I got it in, it was a little bit different, and it was actually a TV ad. Or in like inside of a magazine or something like that, like an advertisement for it, and um, this is what it is. Um, so it looks like it would be a VHS cover, and it might even be a VHS cover of some sort. But they use the images on or inside the magazine for the ad. Uh, but it is a magazine paper, and on the back of it there is information about critters. It is a foreign language, so I don't know what it's actually saying. But it's got the information about it and airing on TV and the time slots, I believe, because it says, like, dates and stuff on there. So I thought that was really cool, even though it wasn't what I wanted or what I thought it was going to be. It's still really cool to have, and I'd like to have it on display um, for my collection eventually one day, you know. So I'll just set this somewhere in my collection. don't know exactly where I'm going to put it yet. Um, the next thing here, um, just briefly talk about this. Um, as you guys know, I have the Critters 2 TV cut um, that I uploaded to the Critters Rehatch YouTube page. And the quality of it isn't that good. And to my knowledge, it wasn't, or it was, the only version available for the longest time. Um, I didn't know if anybody else ever had it or if that was the only existing version that was floating around out there online was that one version of it. But I happened to, to find somebody who did have another version of it. And they had a version that aired on TBS uh, back in the 90s. And so I contacted the guy, and the guy did burn me a copy of it from his VHS tape. And I got the copy right here. Um, the version that on this one, it, like I said, is from TBS showing. It does have like commercials and everything included on it. And the video quality is a lot better, but the audio quality isn't as good. It has a really like high-pitched hum throughout the entire program. And I don't know how to fix that because it is, like I said, it is recorded onto a DVD from a VHS tape. And apparently the VHS has a hum. So I don't know if like, you would have to fix it in the VHS tape in order to fix it on here. Or if there's a way to, like, edit that out or something. I have no idea. But anyways, I have a better picture quality version of the Critters 2 TV cut. Um, so that's going in my collection definitely with my other version of it. Because the other version was a different TV channel and stuff like that that aired it. And this one has a TBS airing of it. So if anybody else has any other airings, like a USA airing or you know sci-fi airing or whatever, I'll take all those. If you have them, let me know. Contact me and record them to a DVD for me or whatever, and I'll put those in my collection too. Um, the next thing here, um, I'll, go ahead, I'll go ahead and do the book. So this here uh, re just recently came out. As a matter of fact, I just got this in yesterday. And the guy that made this book is named Dustin Ferguson. And he, it's called Mini Monster Movies. And I don't know if the light is good enough for this, but uh, it's a really small book here. But it highlights different movies that involve, like, puppets or animatronics and stuff like that. And, of course, Critters is on the main page. So when I saw this for sale, he only made, like, I think 50 of them available. And so I was really lucky to get one of these. But as soon as I saw this and it had Critters on the front of it, I knew I had to order it. So I just immediately bought it. And I didn't know what was going to be inside or how much they were going to talk about Critters. But um, if you open up the first page here, it's autographed by the author, Dustin Ferguson. Um, let's see if you can see that. And then it says the table of contents, and it says Critters on page 15. And it goes to Critters 2, Critters 3, and Critters 4. That ends on page 29. So page 15 through 29 is nothing but Critters-related um, items. So I'm going to flip through those pages here, and I'm going to show you exactly what is on them. So we get to the page 15, and we have the very first thing is a Critters TV advertisement, which is really cool. And then from that, we go to the next page here, 
and it's got a foreign release poster as on the picture. Some behind the scenes images, a synopsis for the first movie along with the, the cover art, uh, body count, art and alternate titles. Um, switch over to the next page and we have um, another foreign poster for Critters 2 plus an image of Terrence Mann from Critters 2. Then we switch over again and we have another page for Critters 2 and we have behind the scenes picture, the advertisement for the hand puppet, um, theatrical poster, behind the scenes footage, it even shows uh, the, the playboy there that was used in the movie, so that's kind of cool. Uh, as long as the, it's, it's also got the, uh, the synopsis and stuff. We move on to Critters 3 uh, with more foreign cover art for Critters 3. Uh, theatrical poster, Did You Know, A Goof Mistakes, and another synopsis there. It's got Leonardo DiCaprio. Then we move on to the next page, and it is for, we got another Critters 3 foreign poster, and then a Critters 4 foreign poster. I like that he used different posters and ones that weren't so, so common. Um, then we have one of my favorite artworks for Critters 4, which is another foreign poster here, Critters 4 with the egg and everything, which is really cool. And then it's got the VHS promo, which I think he pulled that image from um, the video uh, promo video that I posted on the Critters Rehatch, which is like a video store promo. Uh, theatrical poster, um, screenshots, and then a synopsis, and a did you know. And then the last page here for it is just this behind the scenes shot from Critters 3. I actually have this image on a 8x10 photo. Um, now... I thought that was it. I thought that was going to be done with the, the critter stuff, but there is a section in here that is like honorable mentions and uh, terrifying trivia and all that stuff. And if you look, it's got the critters. It's got a picture of the critter with like the swimsuit model thing. It's a popular uh, poster or picture that you see online. But it, uh, I want to correct something on here, and it says. Uh, terrifying trivia, and the first thing that pops up is it says the props used for the eggs in Critters 2 were sugar apples. And um, a lot of us thought that for the longest time. I thought that for the longest time because I believe it was listed on IMDb. But in within the past year, uh, Mick Garris has came out as well as I think the Kyoto Brothers might have said this too. But the eggs that were used in it were not sugar apples. Um, I'm not sure what they used for the eggs, but they did claim that they did not use sugar apples for the production of this movie. So that clears up that trivia fact. And I'm assuming that this guy just got this information, either just pulled it, like searched for stuff online, or just went to IMDb and found that information on IMDb because it's still listed on there. Um, so that is false, but um, you know, it doesn't. It, it was it was thought of for the longest time, so I can understand why somebody would would think that if. If I wouldn't have heard it from Mick Garris or the Kyoto Brothers, I would still believe that it was true. So uh, Then that goes down here a little bit further, and it says, uh, Critters 3 and Critters 4 were shot back-to-back, -back, and most of us know that is for you know obvious reasons. But I thought that was really cool, and so it even had just a few more things Critters-related in there. Um, so that's it, guys. That's the, the book, uh, Mini Monster Movies by Dustin Ferguson. This was really cool. One of them, This is the newest... Um, item to come out that involving critters related stuff on it so if you guys get a chance if there's any left or if you see them around uh, Dustin Ferguson mini monster movies book check it out these are awesome um, I have one more item here um, Alley Cat Graphics was a, a small company that popped up online I didn't know anything about them but apparently they make like enamel pins and stuff so they posted a, uh, a link on their page that they were going to be doing a Critters box set with like enamel pins and stickers and stuff. And I, I couldn't resist. I had to pick one up. I think Total was shipping and everything. It cost me around $40 because I think they were they're located in the UK, I believe. And I'm in the US. So shipping is a little bit more. But here is the enamel pin box. It's got the cover on the front. We have the side here. Uh, turn it around where you can see it. How is it? There we go. All right, and it says, it says Kreitz, and I don't know if you if you see it on the first, it says Kreitz as well. A lot of people um, were saying that uh, it should have been K R I T uh, instead of C R I, and I agree. It should be. I think the correct spelling of Kreitz is K R I T E, and uh, but I do know that there has been several versions, like on VHS tapes and stuff, and different articles and stuff, like in magazines where it's listed as C R instead of K R. 
Um, so I understand why some people would get a little bit confused on it uh, or why people would use that. And I also think he didn't want to use um, anything that would be like an official name for it. That way he could get away with it without having to go through licensing, I believe. Um, but the back of it here, it is limited. I have number 84 of 100. And it show, it's, it's almost like a CD soundtrack. Basically, it says uh, deluxe box set, two soft enamel pins, uh, die cast stickers, backing card, concert ticket, and double sided poster print. So let's open this up and see what all I'm going to get in this box set here. So the first thing here is going to be a poster. And this is really cool. Uh, the first time I opened this up, I was really amazed at what it was. But we have a Kill Kreitz poster. Really, really cool. I'm digging that a lot. And then the back of it is a take on Alien, which is a Critters 3, the third course of terror. And it's made to be like, like an Alien, like the Alien movies. Really, really cool. This was something that I was super excited about whenever I opened it up. I didn't know that it was going to come with a poster. Very cool. Um, if you guys want a, a really cool look at all these, uh, I think in a better quality video, uh, on the Critters Rehatch page, there is a guy by the name of Paul Clements, and he posted a video of him opening them up and showing them off real close to the, to the camera and stuff, but um, I think his camera might be a little bit better than mine. But the next thing we have here is going to be a Critters sticker, and we got that right there, and we have another version of that as well. And then we move on to two more stickers. We have Bounty Hunter for Terrence Mann, or Johnny Steele, I should say. And then the um, Lee Bounty Hunter, which is the no-face. But this, I think this glows in the dark. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it does glow in the dark. Uh, and then we have the Johnny Steele Power of the Night concert ticket. Very cool. This I would never have thought to have made this if I was like an artist or anything. This is just really cool. As soon as I saw that they were making a concert ticket, I was like, wow, that's really, really creative. I never thought of that at all. Um, but it says live in concert, Johnny Steele, the Power of the Night tour. Uh, and then the back of it, I do believe, is just like the logo for Alley Cat Graphics. And it says, uh, it says Ticketmaster. Uh, then we go into, we have the backing here, which is just the background, which looks like a Critters farmland area or whatever you'd see in it with Alley Cat Graphics on the back. Then we get into the enamel pins. And these are basically the same as the stickers. Ah! I almost broke them. That would have been horribly bad. Uh, we have the two different versions of the critters. Sorry, I don't know if my camera is not focusing very well right now. I think it's the lighting in here. But we also have the glow-in-the-dark Lee Bounty Hunter. And then the UGG uh, Johnny Steele Bounty Hunter enamel pin. And these are really, really cool. And... When I first got this in, I was like, man, I really want to display every single one of these in like individual pieces, like set this out, set this out, set this out. But then I started thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to take them out of the box. I want to keep it all together in the box as is and display the box by itself, you know? But if I ever come across the chance to get another one, like a second version of it, then I would open it up and display all of them out like that but as long as I have the one copy of it it's just going to be the box itself is going to be setting up and if I ever want to look at it or show somebody I can you know take it out and take it down but that is it guys uh, I'm sorry about the long video again but I did want to show off all the pictures in the book and all the stickers and stuff in that enamel pin box set and if you if if, if you're interested in the enamel pin box set I don't know if there's any left um, like I said there's only it was limited to 100 uh, but that was Alley Cat Graphics and then the book itself was limited to, t to 50, and that was Mini Monster Movies by Daniel Ferguson, or um, Dustin Ferguson. So check those out if you guys are interested, if they're still available. Hopefully you guys can catch one for yourself. But thanks again for watching this update for my Critters Collection, and I'll see you next time.